Good morning, folks. We've got a solar eruption, climate hits to follow up last night's special climate video, Nova Science, and two announcements at the end. We're starting with our star at spaceweathernews.com, and the major event that sticks out comes top right at about the 2 o'clock position. Kind of hard to miss. It was the same sunspot group that had fired one at Earth about a week earlier, and it produced a solid solar flare and coronal mass ejection, about 90 degrees away from Earth's position. It rang in as a long-duration M1 flare, and it did manage to eject a considerable cloud of plasma, which you can see more easily here on SOHO coronagraphs. These and the Enlil spiral confirm it's a miss for Earth but direct hit for Mercury. Only Earth note from the event is a minor surge in the proton bombardment, which reminds us that our magnetic connection to the Sun can wrap around the side. That flare may not have been Earth-directed, but it hit Earth's interplanetary magnetic field connection. Folks, do we remember November 6th when we pointed out the climate news lunacy? Human pollution began over a hundred years before they thought in terms of affecting the world. Oh no, they think. We've been bad for longer than we realized. But extending the timeline with the same numbers in the climate means it took over a hundred years longer and way, way more pollution to get us to the same place here. Again, that's using their version of reality but more pollution and more time to get to the same effect means that reduces the effect carbon must have, and it means it will take much longer to get anywhere scary and much more CO2 than they thought. Well, that was four days ago, and now, welcome back to the nuthouse. Oh no, they say, glaciers are melting so much that World War I tunnels and bunkers are being revealed. So, what, did World War I happen and then the glaciers overtook the bunkers and the tunnels? They did all that, and then, during the beginning of their warming period, a glacier built on top of these tunnels and bunker? Reminds me of Glacier Girl, the airplane that crashed at the polar region, and 50 years later, it's under over 250 feet of snow and ice. This not only tells us about the snow built on polar land, in the modern times, but with hundreds of layers built upon and around Glacier Girl, it hints that many of those layers in the ice cores are not one season, those are one storm. From logic to detail, and we're looking at thunderstorms in the global electric circuit. Lightning sustains the circuit geophysically, the sun excites it heliophysically. In fact, the global electric circuit effect is not only why there are so many studies tying space weather to lightning, but it's how the sun reaches into the lower atmosphere for rapid forcing. Folks in our climate playlist, not only is last night's special video, part two of the newest mini-series, the latest addition to that playlist, but the rapid forcing I just mentioned, you can get a lot more detail on that with the rapid temperature forcing video within the playlist. It's a very good one. Little aesthetic piece real quickly here as we're starting off Nova Science with a gorgeous shot from Hubble. Pretty long ago explosion and remaining wispy tendrils of that ejection. Fantastic effort is about to get underway to look for the mid-range recurrent Nova events. As the paper perfectly identifies, there has long been this enormous gap between classical nova that go off every 100,000 to million years and the rapidly recurrent nova, which go off every couple years to once a century. Astronomers all know there's going to be a lot more to be found in that middle gap recurrence range, like maybe the sun, but alas, cheers to this team and their efforts to fill that gap. We also have one that brings us right back to the elemental production story. From the coronal rain to elements made inside the Earth, Hopefully, we recall the October special stories on this, and here they are showing how many variations in the solar wind carry those same chemical modulations, like from the CMEs to the heliospheric current sheet. Mental step that one up to the sun and galactic level as well. Announcements time. The votes are in from my ask of whether the ugly mug should be seen in videos. Apart from short references like this, no, not in the morning news. These videos will stay the same, but the special videos, the website videos, and our second channel coming soon, yeah, you're going to see me in some of those non-morning news videos sometimes. I'll try to include bloopers so you get to laugh at me. Also, folks, with the promo code BEN, B-E-N, you can get 10% off our entire store this week. With shipping taking longer than ever, it is kind of the perfect time to get those holiday gifts for any little ones you know. Kids do love those books. And our gear and textbooks are included in the discount as well. Again, that code is Ben, my name. Not sure why so many of you think my name is David, but anyway, we greatly appreciate your support. Get some discounts, watch last night's video, much more fun planned the end of the year. 
We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.